Hi again, everyone. This is Anya. So I sort of planned on working a lot more with um, Dreams of Guy on this channel. And this channel is still new, so I think there's still plenty of time to do that. But today I just got in the Triomphe della Luna by, uh, deck by um, uh, Patrick Valenza. It's a Marseille style tarot deck, um, and I purchased this because um, uh, the tarot meetup group that I go to just had a guest speaker on um, the Marseille style deck, so I thought it would be fun to uh, sort of get familiar with it myself. I This is the first Marseille style deck that I've owned, so I thought it would be fun to just sort of open it up on camera because it's so pretty wrapped. It's so prettily wrapped, and I just thought that would be fun. Um, so I did the uh, purple edition, um, which I'm not going to open. I'm actually going to leave this in its packaging. Um, but I did want to show. So first of all, when these came in the mail, they came side by side, just like this, with a little bit of bubble wrap in between. But also on the bottom of the box, um, there were there were three other cards in there. So I've got this, which I believe is from the Deviant Moon Tarot deck, which I do not own. Um, so this looks like it's probably the Eight of Wands, or Rods, um, possibly, um, depending upon what system it was worked with. And I got two of the smaller cards from the, um, the Letterman deck that, uh, Deviant Moon Incorporated also, um, publishes. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. It's not numbered, but it does look like this is sort of the cover art that is on that Letterman deck. Um, I believe that's supposed to be Mildred Payne. Um, I was reading up a little bit more on it on the website and they were saying when she would host her seances, her eyes would almost look like they were inverted. So I think that's what this is meant to be, but it's the blue edition. I believe they just put out a blue uh, glow under, glow in the dark, glow under black light edition. So I think that's what this is from. Um, and then I got the wheel. Um, so it was just kind of, you know, cool little tidbit that was also thrown into the box. I was, I was really excited about the way this was packaged. It felt really personal. And I know everyone gets a box that has something like that in it, but it's just, you know, the special touches that you don't see if you're ordering something from, say, you know, um, a book depository or Amazon or, you know, Walmart, any of the places where you can get tarot decks, you don't see something like that in there. So it was nice to see that when you're actually ordering from the publisher itself. So I'm going to put the purple one aside for now. Um, but I really just wanted you guys to see this because this is really like, this is a lot of craftsmanship in this. It, it really makes me think more about buying direct from, you know, publishers and those who work with it. Um, and you can just see, this is like, this is paper wrapping and you know, it's, it had that rubber band around it, but you can even see it's like sealed up. Like you can't lift that without some force. That's my nail under it. Um, and it's really, I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed with that. That's that it's just the packaging alone has sort of, uh, won me over here. And the other thing that was done with this wrapping is you've got these three cards sort of peeking out of the side here and the purple one has it too. Um, I can just quickly pull that over. And you can see the, the card that's there is um, the devil. Um, these cards also glow under black light. So that's what's fun about the purple one. Um, they also have a blue edition one, if you're so inclined. The blue one, I like the blue one. So I may order the blue one if I find I'm really, really enjoying the, the cream one. Um, but I don't know. I... I think anyone that works with or collects tarot cards knows that once you kind of get into it, it's, it can be, it's like going down the rabbit hole and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I just need one deck to read with. And then all of a sudden you've got 50, um, don't have that many. I haven't gone that far just yet, but give me time. So, um, these are the three cards. Um, there's judgment, the devil, and the star. Um, and I just want to say, just these three cards alone, the cardstock feels really nice. Like, if you can hear that, 
Um, they, they feel really sturdy. They feel really nice. Um, they're, you don't see like fingerprints rubbing off on them. And that's an issue I have sometimes with, you know, certain decks, like you'll touch one card and you're, you can't get the fingerprints off at all. These feel sturdy. They feel, um, they feel stiff. Like they're not going to bend super easily. Of course, it's paper, it's cards. I mean, anything can bend, but they just feel they feel good in your hands, and I love that um, already. Um, oh, and the other nice thing about this, both of the these packages are signed. So again, I'm I'm just really loving this. You know, this this special special stuff you get when you order direct from manufacturer or publisher. This is this is exciting for me, which is why I wanted to be uh, a bit of a nerd and record this. And I'm being so careful opening this because I'm just, I don't, I, I, I'm probably going to save this. This is amazing. Um, so yeah, again, this is also very stiff paper and, um, ta -da. and when you unravel it, oh no, there's still some, some, some glue there. It's still all stuck, but you know, anyone who is in any of these, like, um, you know, tarot nerd pages or stuff like that. You know, I think a lot of people were getting these um, because the pre-order, they had pre-order going through February 1st, and um, then it was supposed to be sent out February 1st. So the pre-order just ended for these. I actually did not pre-order this. I, I bought this on, I bought this over the weekend. Um, and you know, I just got them today. So it's been, uh, it's been very exciting to see people opening up theirs on Tarot Nerds or wherever else, you know, they are opening them up and, um, and you know, everyone getting excited and knowing that, oh good, I can, I can open up mine soon too. Um, sorry about that. Clearly, um, I was having some issues with the plastic wrap. Um, but here we go. I'm still having issues with the plastic wrap, obviously. Definitely child-proof this, or adult-proof it. But either way, still excited. Ta-da! Um, and, um, the difference, one of the, the other difference, aside from the fact that this is cream and the other one's purple, is the purple one, and I believe also the blue one, um, is... Uh, the Italian text. This one, as you can see from the box, is the English text. Um, and let's just take a look at the box. Again, the box feels... It's always nice when tarot decks come with their own, like, s small boxes. So many times you get a tarot deck, and it's in those, those big, big cases, and they come with the full-size book and everything, but you've got this big box... And you've got these freestanding tarot cards, and then you know you get the you get the excitement of going out and finding a bag and where to give your tarot cards a special home. But you also have this big box that you don't want to get rid of because the box is gorgeous. You know, I'm speaking in terms of the Druid Craft deck. I don't want to get rid of my Druid Craft deck box. I also have um, Tower of the Vampires. Vampires spelled with a Y. Um, you know, things like that. The the Animal Totem Tarot. They come with these gorgeous boxes, um, but you can't use the boxes for toting the tarot around unless you have a big bag that you're carrying them all in. This is perfect size for just grabbing and going on the run. Um, and of course, um, once again, um, these are adult proofed, so you'll bear with me for a hot second if I can just get a little, little tiny hole here into the plastic wrap. That should make it a little bit easier for me. Here we go. Here we go. I can feel the cards. I can feel the paper. So here we go. This is the first one. And then we obviously go through all of the standard um, major arcana cards. Um, so we have the Fool, the Magician, 
the high priestess. I love that image. Um, you know, and it's so funny. I've looked at um, the Deviant Moon tarot deck, the one that um, works more with the Rider Waite Smith style, and I was not a big fan of it. But for some reason, the Marseille style deck really, like, when I looked at them, there was something about it that I said, "Yeah, yeah, I could, I could work with this." Um, so I have no idea what draws you to one and not the other, especially when it's by the same maker. It's sort of in the same style. So it's, it's just interesting like that. Um, and again, these cards do feel very sturdy, which I think is, you know, something you look for in, uh, tarot decks. Um, they feel, they feel secure in your hands. Um, I don't feel like I will bend them easily, especially if I take good care of them, like you do, with uh, anything that um, means something to you. Um, but yeah, I'm just really liking this imagery, and I'm obviously going through pretty fast. Those are the major arcanas. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Marseille style, Marseille style decks, um, that usually refers to the pip cards or the one through ten cards um, in the suits, not having descriptive images on them. So your standard Rider Waite Smith deck, you know, that's the one that has your three of swords with um, a heart with three swords through it. Um, and you know, the other, the other standard images, which of course the only ones that are coming to me are swords right now. So your nine of swords with the, the swords through the head of the person who's trying to sleep. Um, the Marseille style doesn't have that. So you do have your images with, uh, your, your court cards, your king, your queen, your knight, and your page. But then you work with these. Um, and the, the guest speaker, uh, Jason Miller, um, spoke about these and how he likes working with them a lot more now. And the reason, you know, a lot of people sometimes are hesitant to work with decks like these because there isn't that, that image that you can use to work with your intuition on. You know, it's, it's harder to look at this and visualize what you're working on with your reader. But he did describe it as just knowing what each of these things symbolize. So he talked about, you know, one, one obviously being on its own, the start of something, you being on your own and starting something. Two, um, two things or two people coming together, working together. What do two people make? Three. If you think about it in terms of like baby making or coming, two people coming together to produce something else, a third thing, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, so it's a system that you really have to get to know like that as opposed to just being able to look at the what's going on in the image and intuitively gather it from that. Although he did also say that, you know, you do intuitively work with it especially with, you know, the cards with images. Um, if any of you uh, don't know Jason Miller, um, I would recommend, you know, looking up his page if you're interested in tarot, especially if you're interested in uh, the Marseille tarot. His, his talk was very interesting, very informative, also very funny. Um, he's, he's quite a jokester, so it was uh, a good, fun environment to be in. Um, and I'm just, I'm just loving looking through these. These are going to be fun to work with. They're going to be a new kind of challenge, but I think they'll be fun. Um, and then we go on to coins. Knight of coins. So coins. Well, according to the website, there were some extra cards thrown in here, so... I think these were oracle cards, um, so just some extra images to go in with these. And these are, I don't know, the artwork is very interesting. 
And again, it, it, it's so weird to me because I'm looking at this and saying, this is great. I love it. I'm so excited to challenge myself and work with this. But again, the the Deviant Moon Tarot, which was the Rider Waite Smith style, didn't call to me. So I find it, I, I know I said this earlier, but I think, I think it's so funny that one could call to you, but another in the exact same style wouldn't. So that's the unboxing of this. Um, if any of you guys got this deck, are looking forward to working with it, or interested in it, would recommend it. Obviously, I haven't worked with it much yet. I just opened it up. I think it's going to be an interesting one, especially in terms of learning the Marseille. So yeah, hope everyone enjoyed that. Have a nice night.